Hey everyone, coming at you today with another grizzly bear video. The reason I like this video or this footage that I captured was because it actually demonstrates an interesting behavior of bears. In this case, specifically a grizzly bear. They like to turn over rocks. You've probably noticed that a couple of times already in this video. And when they turn over those rocks, they're immediately looking for, you know, grubs, bugs, insects, you know, all those creepy crawlers, and they just begin snorting those holes up, and they just eat them. It's a good source of protein, it's reliable, so after dandelion season has ended, because all these guys do in the springtime, is they just get out there and they just mow and munch these dandelions, but after that, you know, they scavenge quite a bit, so grizzly bears have a very broad diet. They're omnivores. They're notoriously known for being carnivores as like this apex predator but what a lot of people don't realize is they actually eat up like everything they're almost like a garbage disposal springtime comes they're on the dandelions after the dandelions are all gone in the early spring boom they're on to like everything else and that's around like calving season so they may be you know they they will pick off a calf here and there from like an elk or a deer um but they also you know go for the grubs they go for the berries you know they like the fish all that kind of stuff so they have a very very broad uh, diet you know and they even have cannibalistic behavior so these animals are at the top of the food chain and they just eat everything I'm kind of fascinated by this grizzly specifically because when I first got a glance at it I thought perhaps for a moment it was one of those rare um, white grizzly bears with that gene mutation um, I don't think it's quite that, but it is, its fur is very light in uh, certain parts of its body in comparison to its uh, legs if you take a look. So it's not uncommon for that much of a light coloration for the grizzly bears in this region, but I still think it's pretty light. So I think this bear is a slight, like a little bit more on the rare side to come across. So I'm kind of proud of getting footage of it. If you're enjoying the nature and wildlife content that I'm creating and putting out, please support me. Uh, you don't have to financially, it's just liking, sharing, commenting, following, uh, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Any kind of interactions like that help a lot. Thanks a lot, guys. Until next time.